The strange thing is that the story of, of Guillaume Tell is fake. It's not really based on a true story. And of course, it's a kind of symbol of nationalism, search for liberty, independence of a nation. And the fresco that Rossini describes is, of course, Austrian occupation of Switzerland. Rossini tries to really compose the idea of Switzerland. He really manages in a masterly way to make all the sensations of the opera about nature, which of course is the symbol of liberty. The important thing about, about nature is a sense of infinity, the sky, the water, the reflection of the mountains in the water. And that was sort of the starting point for George. So he made a, a very simple mirror box, which is the basic framework of the set. And thanks to this mirror box, we do get a feeling of infinity, we do get a feeling of reflection. George came up with this very, very beautiful idea of the crossbow, the famous crossbow, but he translated it into a symbol, architectural symbol on the stage, that can also suggest a boat, because the boat is a very important element in the story. For the costumes, we went for a single color for each of the parties. The Austrians are in dark colors and the Swiss are in light colors. Jerry is one of the opera singers I, I admire most uh, on the international scene. He is an extraordinary artist and he invests himself in his roles. Better my heart, three persons. Marina Rebecca is a wonderful singer also in the French repertoire. She's got this um, wonderful personality and stature. <laughs> Brian Himmel is a wonderful singer, actor, somebody who's developed a, a speciality of singing very difficult French music beautifully. Rossini rewards you with the most magnificent music from beginning to end. Something timeless, and something theatrical, something mysterious, and that remains today still very surprising. <laughs> 